Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Barracuda by heart. So this has a lot of uh, multiple guitar parts in it, but we're going to take care of the main one that's going on throughout the entire time. And if there's a really a harmony part that you really need to know both parts, I'll show you that as well. So we're going to do all the chords, riffs, solos, everything. So let's check, start with this opening riff here. We're going to just be chugging along on this low E power chord. So just low six string open and a second fret on the A string. Hit the power chord and then a quick, that's with a down stroke and then a quick down up on just the low E open string. So, it, so you do that again and again. That's so really muted. So to get that up to speed, it's a down, down, up, down, down, up. Just a little quick little down, and then a little quick down up. All right, so you repeat that. But then the, it goes into these two power chords at, on the low E string, second fret, then third fret. Let that ring out. Come up here and grab these harmonics of the 12th fret across the G, B, and E strings. Then same strings at the fifth fret. And then he does some a uh, little bit of one of our action on there and then he starts to rip over again now this time we just have a little bit different you're gonna be hold these notes and then just hit you're really kind of hitting um, you can hold the fifth fret on the A and the D string together those with the top open strings as well and then come up and grab the harmonics kind of bar down again. So we start over. Back to the harmonics. And then this time you're just gonna slide down to start the riff over. So starting from the 12th fret, slide back down. Back to the riff, same thing. And back to these, those open strings again there, a little nice strum. Hold that little bit, and then you're gonna come up and grab those harmonics again on the two middle strings of the 12th fret, and do a bar dot. All right, so, you know, this guitar does not like to be, uh, it does, I just don't set it up for the bar at all, so it'll take it out of tune if I keep doing this stuff. But anyway, so that's the whole intro, really. And then we get to the verse section, which sounds like this. So that's doing the same kind of palm muting down here on that low E power chord. Then you're going to make it here to the power chord off the third fret of the A string. And that quick little fill that happens at the end before it starts over, you're going to move that power chord over to the low E string. So the power chord there to the third fret, slide up two frets. And then now come over to the A string, you're at the 5th fret now, power chord there, and move it up 2 frets as well. Play this. And then it just kind of starts over again. Alright, so from there we have the chorus, which sounds like this. back to that same old riff. All right, so we're here at a power chord at the third fret on the A string. Then move your first finger down one fret. Then the fifth fret here on the low E string, and then the E power chord. Gonna hit that a couple times, we have this. All right, and now we have a kind of harmony part. Now the main harmony part you want to play is this. 
So that's starting with just the third fret there on the sixth and fifth string, the G and the um, sorry, the um, low E and the A string. Then the the fifth string, uh, the A and the D string open. Then the second fret on those two strings back to the open. So this. Back to the two threes. And now just the second fret on the A string. Back to that fifth fret on the low E. And back to the E power chord a couple times. So this. So all together. All right, to the fifth fret power chord on the A string. To the open A power chord. And then you're back to the rest. All right, so then it goes back after that, after that chorus, we have some little harmonic fills. Now he actually does this with the, the hand over the fretboard for some reason, but you can do it without that. And it sounds like this. All right, so those harmonics, it's kind of repetitive. Uh, well, it's a sequence, really. So we have a the 12th fret on the high E string to the 19th fret on the G. So let those ring together. Now I'll do the same thing, but starting from the, the B string. So 12th fret on the B to 19 on the D. Same thing, going down one string each. 12 on the G, 19 on the A, and then you can end it with a 12th fret on the D and just stop there. So we have, Now if you want to play it like he does and just over the fretboard, you know, have at it. But maybe when you're standing, that makes it's, it's easier when you're standing. If you're sitting down, it's easier to just kind of play it normal. All right, so from there, we after that, we get back to the verse. Now in the middle of the second verse, there's a little guitar trill. Just wanted to point that out. It's just this, just the open D hammering on there. It happens real quick, but you'll hear it. It's pretty prominent in the mix. So just going to be doing a trill between the zero and two on the D string. All right, so then we go back through, uh, you know, through the verse, through the chorus, and then we have this bridge, which is two definable parts here. Now one just plays these chords that sound like this. And the other guitar part plays something on top of that that sounds like this. All right, so that's pretty, it does it the exact same way the second time too, so it's an important part to learn. So it's just based off a power chord of the third fret on the A string. Uh, you pick that fifth string, then fourth, back to the fifth, and then the G string. Then you just hit the 5th fret on the D string again. Then slide 5 to 7. And then we're going to have 5 on the D, back to 7 on the A. And then pick a cross, 5 on the G, 5 on the D, 7 on the A. Slower. All right, now to the A power chord. Same picking that we started with here. So it's like A string, D string, A string, G string, back to A, back to D. Then you go to hammer on two to four on the A. You see how I'm kind of palm muting, make the notes pop out. Two on the D, four on the A. Then hold this uh, second fret on the G for a whole beat, and then you pick third fret three times on the B string, and on the third time pull off to that second fret. Play this. And 
then it joins the other good car. All right, so that's the, they do that little ending after that the first time through the bridge. Then they go back through this course, one guitar player doing this with the other guitar button. All right, but the new ending now is going to be. All right, so that second time through, that's going to be the ending, which is just that same rhythm. Then a power chord to the second, third, and fifth. All right, then we make it to the guitar solo. Let me play through the guitar solo real quick for you, and we'll take a look at it. Here we go. into the chorus there. All right, so this solo is just a starting with a whole step bend of the 15th fret on the B. Then pick it again, release the bend, and pull off to uh, the 12th fret. Now we're going to do the same kind of thing, but off the 14th fret on the high E string. You're going to bend it up a whole step. Pick it and bend it down, pull it down. That's what it is. All right, and now we'll come up to 14, 15, 17 on the high E. Try staccato. And 14 on the B. Then 15, 17 on the B to 14 on the G. So from there we have 15 on the G, 16 slide down to 14. Then 12, 14 on the high e, on the B string, I'm sorry, staccato, and then the double stop here, 12th fret on the G and the B and the D together. Alright, from there we have this next phrase. All right, so this one's kind of a, a random effect. They're just taking this first finger, moving it up from the 8th to the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, sliding slowly up to 12th fret while he's picking and kind of palming. And then you have a whole set bend at the 14th fret on the B string, pull off to 12, to 14 on the E. I mean, on the E notes on the D string. All right, now we have this next melody. Alright, so we're up here at the 17 on the B string, to 14 on the high E, 15, back to 14. Quick, 17, 15 on the B, to 16 on the G. Then back to that 17 on the B, 14, 15, 17 on the high E string. Now if you get to that 17 on the top, we're going to... That's a pre-bend, a half step on the 17, release, to pull off to 15, and now do a pre-bend whole step, and then pull off to 15. Resolve it there to 17 from the B string. Then we have a quick little lick that I personally like to hybrid pick, and that's going to be kind of barring the 15th fret on the B and the high E string and picking my using my middle finger to pick the high E string and then using the pick to pick 17th fret on the B string and pull off of that 15th. Just repeat that. Now if you, you might want to use your pick. I like the hybrid pick it. And then it's a quick little slide from 17, I mean 16 to 14 on the G, 
And this double stop here, the 12 of fret on the B and the G. And then that takes us back into the same course. All right, so now there's an outro to the song that has kind of a random effect with some guitar lines and harmonics. Now he does pretty much stuff like, they kind of extend this riff. Then we have this. Now, like I said, there's a lot of harmonics going on here and um, overdubs. So you really can just start with this chord, barring at the third fret on the 12th, I'm uh, sorry, the three frets at the 12th fret, and then the 15th fret there on the B string in the middle there. Hold that for a couple of measures, and then we have just the harmonics now, the 12th fret, then this. That's just the 12 on the B and the G with the 14 on the high E string. And then, you're kind of, just kind of playing that 14 a little bit, just randomly. And then the, uh, into this low E string. All right, and then he starts doing the 12th fret here. I'm just, I'm gonna keep saying 12th fret. We have seventh fret on the B, G, and D string. And then the harmonics. Now, over that chord, you're going to hear him play the... So there's those kind of harmonics going on if you hear that on top of it. And then he starts getting to... He kind of does this for a while. You do hear a definitive harmonic melody. It sounds like... Really now, that's just the 19th fret harmonic on the G. D -d -d -d. And then the 12th fret harmonic on the high E to the B. All right, then we go into this. So that's that same first chord, 15th fret on the B string, then the 14th fret on the B. And then still 12 on the G, 13 on the B, 15 on the high E string, then the 12th fret harmonic. We have that ending, uh, so that's just pretty much uh, the main line you want to hear there is just... So we have that riff going, and then... Uh, so we have power chord of the uh, A string, 7th fret to 9, then 10, and 12. Now the other guitar player is pretty much doing the same. Then it's just, so we're just kind of messing around with there and playing along with what's going on up here. So it's a it's an interesting part. You know, you basically just want to break these parts down or just play it as a solo, you know, just one guitar player. You can really do a convincing version of it um, with just one guitar. All right, so it's pretty in-depth, I know, but I hope you guys can work your way through it and uh, watch the video a couple of times and you'll, you'll get it down. All right, I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye-bye.